today we are going to make my jack-o-lantern soap. It overall looks like it's a fairly simple soap to make and it is. It just involves a lot of parts. So you can see off to the top left that my pumpkin embeds are sitting there waiting to be embedded into the soap. I made those the day before in a Wilton cavity mold that they no longer sell. However, I have heard that Wholesale Supplies Plus sells a cavity uh, tube pumpkin mold. I'm just not sure um, how big the pumpkins are. So anyways, I made all these pumpkins <laughs> And now I am embedding them into a batch of soap. So the soap itself is pretty simple. It is pumpkin spice. I didn't add any color. The fragrance will discolor it a little. Oh, you can see what the color is. It won't discolor much darker than that for this scent. I made a second batch of this in pumpkin eggnog. And you'll see later in the video when I'm doing the stencil that that one definitely gets even darker. To add that speckled kind of pie look, I added um, vanilla bean. It's ground vanilla bean, that's it. And it just ties everything together. I love it. As I put these pumpkins in slowly, I need to make sure that they are all pushed up tight against each other so that I don't get any like air pockets or weird spaces uh, when I cut the soap. So I will continue doing that in this loaf as well. You can see on the bottom left hand side there's a bag of sprinkles. If you watched the video on making sprinkles the other day, these are those sprinkles that I made. Once I get all the pumpkins in, I will add the rest of the batter on top to cover up the pumpkins and then I am going to add those sprinkles to the top. It just gives it a little something extra and I absolutely love how it turned out. So yeah, there you go. That is the base part of the soap. Then the next day I will cut it. I don't have a cutting video, sorry, but I do have a stencil video. Um, when I cut it, you'll see all the pumpkins that are inside and then I have a stencil that I absolutely adore. It has four different jack-o'-lantern faces on it. And what I will do is stencil those faces on with soap dough. And then I coat them in black mica. It just gives it a little extra shimmer. You don't have to do that, but I really like the look. So there you have it. There are basically four elements. I had to make the pumpkin embeds, I had to make the sprinkles, then there's the base soap that we embed everything in, and finally there is the soap dough stencil that I put on top of the cut pumpkins uh, at the end. So yeah, you could do this. It's not hard to do, it just takes a little bit of time and planning to do.